Hello guys, in this video I will try out Juni PHP Storm and JetBrains Storm new AI coding agent. And let's try to compare new Juni versus Cursor. So for the last few months I've been using Cursor and you may have seen that in my videos. And Juni is PHP Storm, which I have been using for many years. I've checked my payments to JetBrains. I've been a happy subscriber of PHP Storm since 2016, so almost 10 years. But now my subscription is due in September and I'm on the fence of switching to Cursor full-time. But Juni may change my opinion, and let's see what it actually is capable of based on two Laravel tasks. So I've created Laravel 12 project with Laravel Breeze and with Spotty Laravel permission package installed, and I asked it two things. First task will be backend task to generate the seeders, and then the second task will be to generate CRUDs for rows and permissions to be managed visually. So this is the result performed by Cursor and I will compare it head to head. So first I will show how Cursor does it and then I will repeat the same prompt in PHP Storm in Juni. So first let's try this prompt in Cursor. So I ask it to seed the roles and the permissions and the user for Spotty Laravel permission package. So just the backend task. Let's run and see what happens. By the way, I deliberately deleted all the rules that I had and all the necessary setup in the cursor so it would be apples to apples comparison. I will skip on some parts to make the video a bit shorter with just mostly the final result and okay generated the seeder and the users by the way i use auto mode for model so i'm not even sure which model it uses i personally prefer gemini 2.5 pro over claude 3.7 but yeah it's ready my great fresh seed run and let's see if it's successful yep great so yeah the task is ready and i haven't done any pausing actually i was expecting to make some pause so it would take a few minutes but no it took like less than one minute it seems let's check the database roles name administrator simple user permissions manage roles and then all the tasks then what users do we have admin and user user has roles correct and role has permissions seems right now let's try the identical prompt in php storm in juni you can activate juni here on the right, you need to install the plugin for Juni first. I've done it behind the scenes, and here's the prompt. Paste it here. There are two modes you can ask Juni or you can ask it to write code. Let's just launch and see what happens. Sending LLM request. Okay, we're waiting. The first thing what I've noticed about Juni, like from my few testing behind the scenes, that it's slower, but it creates the plan, which cursor doesn't do. So there is a plan for nine points like examine the user model check if spotty permission installed those two are done and as you can see it opens the terminal and runs quite a few commands so if we open the actual terminal we can click here open and we can see what juni actually is doing behind the scenes so opens database seeder edit role seeder and we can click on any of those edits and see the changes the diffs but for that you need to additionally click separately which I personally don't like. Okay, edit role seeder, edit permission seeder. So it created two separate files. Cursor did that in one roles and permission file. Then edit user seeder. Okay, so it seems to be doing correct things. We will see if it actually works, but it takes longer time. Edit user seeder, edit database seeder now. Okay, so if we go to the plan, as you can see, those ticks refer to what is actually being completed update database seeder, run migrations, and it should, yeah, it asked me to run my great fresh seed. Let's do that. And it is successful. Okay, what it is doing now, I'm not even sure. Fix any errors that arise, no errors. So this is kind of the overview done with changed files. And it took roughly twice as long, but let's see the results, whether they are correct. So here I am in my different empty database. It was empty before. What do we have here? Administrator, simple user users created but i had a test user previously from the default laravel let's see whether it deleted that user maybe let's go to database seeder and indeed we don't have user factory create with test user anymore instead we have user seeder which we open and we have only those two with assigned roles so i didn't ask it to delete the previous user which has no roles but it may be logical in that case because we have new role system and that older user doesn't make sense 
without the role. But in any case, this is an example of LLM sometimes maybe deleting your code without notifying you about it specifically. Let's take a look at permissions. Seems to be correct. Role has permissions and model has roles. Everything seems to be correct. The final thing I want to compare the user seeder by PHP Storm and user seeder by cursor. The code is slightly different. So cursor is doing first our create and is doing bcrypt and PHP Storm is doing hash make instead of bcrypt, which is under the hood the same thing. And it doesn't do first or create. So if we launch the seed again, it would actually fail. But this is not a big deal because usually seeders are run once. Okay, so first test, what conclusions can we get from here? Juni is doing a good job of generating code. He's doing a great job of providing the plan, but it is significantly slower and you need to make some manual effort to actually see what it is generated. So user experience, I guess it could be better, but acceptable. Now let's try the second task. The second task involves visual things. So we'll see how Cursor and Juni handles that. So I asked to create CRUDs for roles and permissions, working on package Spotty Laravel permission with a few more requirements. So use Tailwind, we use Laravel Breeze under the hood, and also a few more things. And at the end, I ask it to write past tests for all the CRUDs, run those tests to ensure that it actually works. Let's see what cursor does. Generating. Okay, so we have the plan for what to do after a lot of searching. I've skipped this video to this point and I will start by creating the controllers for rows. And yeah, we actually reached 25 tool calls, which means that I need to resume the conversation to use another AI credit for this. Okay, so we have route resources here generated. Again, compared to Juni, it's good that you can see the code here and what it does in a more visual way right away. It's actually quite a big task. So for such big tasks, I technically prefer to have the plan first, confirm the plan, and then do it step by step with LLM. For that, you can use actually external tools like task manager, I think it's called Taskmaster AI by Claude. If you're interested in that, I may shoot a separate video how I use it with cursor. But for now, we have to just wait and see what happens. Already three minutes passed since the beginning of this and is generating blades at the moment. Navigation blades, so it's already doing the menus. Great, roles and permissions here. Okay, now we have role CRUD test. Great. Before each. Great. I see that is doing this admin before each function. Oh yeah. PHP artisan test. You mean that's it? Let's try. Run. And it failed. Of course, it fails always, almost always from the first time. Something small is missing, like undefined variable slot. So something is wrong with the layout of Laravel Breeze. It didn't take into account yield content. Okay. Rerun again. We run and all done. Right. All done. Good. So it took like almost five minutes. Let's see if it's actually correct. Let's refresh our page. So I log in with admin example com. And let's see if we have roles and permissions here. Yeah, we do We have roles. And of course, I need to run npm run build. So in the terminal, I run npm install npm run build to rebuild the CSS styles. And yet yeah, now it looks better. So we have roles, we can edit a role with checkboxes looks good. Let's try to update. Ooh, and we do have error. There is no permission name to for guard web. So this is a case where there is a test for that. Probably I haven't checked that yet, but the test didn't catch that error that I caught manually. Let's actually look at that test update. So have role scrud test. It can create and get update role and its permission. So test seems to be correct. Why it's not working for me. Let's try to ask cursor. And for that, I can even put a screenshot here. But just in case, let's copy and paste the error. I get error when updating role this and let's add that screenshot as a context. And let's see, it took a while, but it seems like it has a solution change role sync permission to identify permission names by IDs. Okay, seems correct to me. I don't remember the syntax by heart. Would you like me to apply this fix? Yes, but I wonder how it didn't catch that in the tests. Maybe now the tests will fail. Let's see. So this is what happens generally with coding with AI. If there is some bug, then it may start to go in circles trying to fix something, then breaking something else, and then you are on your own to actually fix it properly. 
let's just accept it it should be correct it looks like let's refresh the form it updates and yeah it seems to be correct now delete task is applied and update works out of curiosity did the tests break so if we run php artisan test now it still pass weird anyway the job is done let's try to go to permissions as well we can create a permission something whatever does it work seems to be correct delete okay fine so this is what happens in cursor this video is more about juni but i wanted to show cursor just as comparison now let's go to php storm and to juni and i will run the identical prompt with juni and let's see what happens again sending llm request which it doesn't specify what llm it uses i'm yet to do that research on what models what are the costs and what is the underlying thing so again we have a plan again cursor also did the plan but with much longer thought so probably juni is better here at preparing the plan it takes much longer for cursor and actually we can expand it probably like this okay we have the plan on the left and the actual execution on the right good so it's searching for seeders to understand what is inside of the project good so the first tasks are check look examine and check only from task six it will actually start generating code as i understand and interestingly the plan came earlier than cursor but actually what it is doing in check and examining it's what has been done in cursor before preparing the plan so this is kind of different approaches okay we're starting editing role controller what do we have in role controller try to understand my font is very big actually we'll look at the code later in my ide currently the font is not ideal to check the code right away but anyway we have role controller generated permission controller edit web with routes good so we're on point seven of 12 create views with tailwind css in the terminal we have resources views checked and i'm really curious how it will try to determine the breeze structure Oh, run command mkdir folder okay i can run it for you but cursor didn't ask me that i hope it will not ask me to create those files one by one all those blades okay we have index blade prepared next is create blade after like 30 seconds even lighting changed since then outside so now you can see in the plan here there are sub items so that 12 points may actually be like 30 points and i will skip some parts of this video already i see on juni we need to skip something and then i will come back when it actually does something significant that is worth showing on the screen okay so we're done with roles views now permission views and interestingly three items at a time are in progress so it's doing kind of in sync a few processes not sure so again edit blade index blade create blade and this part is significantly slower than cursor it seems okay done with the blades now navigation blade so it should add menu items there three items left on the plan so desktop and mobile navigation are sub items of the same plan which is very cool again it doesn't show the code right away i'm not sure if it's a bug or a feature in terms of ux maybe like for vibe coders who don't really care about the code maybe it is better but to click here to navigate somewhere to check something i personally prefer cursor way okay now past tests first check if the tests exist test feature checking the folders with list command in the terminal okay now we have role test with 140 lines of code which took quite a while in the background now write test for role management it still hasn't been finished so yeah it's already like seven minutes since the beginning of the prompt edit permission test that is successful also with more than 100 lines of code and we are in the final stages of running tests so probably it should ask me for yep php artisan test fingers crossed run command and open the terminal and do we have 40 failed 
tests as a result. Now it should probably try to fix them. What is the actual failure? Role does not exist. No role named administrator. I didn't have the seeds here. Oh, because the tests probably don't run those seeds automatically. Okay, it is asking me to run tests again. Probably it will fail as well. 16 failed tests. No application encryption key has been specified. Seriously? Oh, maybe actually I haven't run that command. Okay, let's probably let Juni fix it. Testing environment not set up. Okay, so interestingly, this is not comparing apples to apples because in cursor's case, I did prepare environment well with PHP artisan key generate. But if Juni detected that problem, let's see how it tries to solve it. It adds refresh database, also adds refresh database and permission test. And let's try to run again. Same failures, encryption keys. I'm not even sure how to stop it. So I would gladly run that command. Actually, let's try to run it in the terminal behind the scenes. So key generate. It's kind of cheating in a way, but it's my failure. I didn't prepare well enough before this video. So I created the project, but I didn't launch it. The attempt to check was rejected. The next step remain unexecuted. Oh, it actually did get to the point where it suggests to key generate and maybe now it will succeed. I didn't expect that to do that. That was kind of not fast, but correct. And now let's try to run tests. Fail again. Call to undefined method middleware. And still all 16 fail. So yeah, 500 code permission controller middleware. Oh, I know probably it is trying to use older Laravel 10 syntax. Let's open the permission controller. Yes, this middleware from what I remember is syntax of Laravel 10 when controller contained some traits for that. From what I remember, it doesn't work anymore in Laravel 12 or even 11. And now Juni, what does it say? The tests were updated. We haven't rerun tests, but it says that the tasks were done. Wait, what? Let's try to rerun tests. I'll do that in a separate terminal and still 16 failed tests. So Juni, didn't actually finish the task. And I logged into that project, so the menu items are correct. If we go to roles, here we have role controller middleware, which Juni unfortunately was unable to solve. So yeah, I spent like 13 minutes and Juni told me that the task was done, but the test did not succeed. And after a few attempts to fix them, it just kind of gave up. So yeah, these are my two personal kind of unbiased tests. I'm not getting paid for Juni or cursor review by any of those teams. I just tried it out personally. Maybe in your case, the results would be different, but what could be the conclusions from them? Juni seems to be good at planning the tasks. So I do really like that planning with checklist and sub items and step by step. If you look at the code, it does kind of the right things, generating the code logic, all good, but it is significantly slower with UX that I personally don't like. I prefer to see the code changes right away here. Maybe there's some setting to enable that. I'm not sure at this point. And also at the end, it didn't succeed with more complex task. In all fairness, cursor did also fail. So the update of the role did fail. So it's also not ideal. And this is the proof that you also need to double and triple check everything that AI is generating for you. But yeah, this was my first attempt with Juni. What do you think? What comments would you add here? And of course, there are many more questions under the hood, like what is the actual cost? What is the underlying LLM model? What if I added some general rules in Juni? So there are cursor rules. How does it happen in case of Juni? I didn't do any of that. It was just comparing apples to apples, clear cursor without any rules or settings versus clear Juni. I can dive deeper with more examples. So if you have any ideas what specifically to test, shoot them in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.